Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technology Mafia, and today I'm doing a review of a very controversial watch. This is the Genot Ocean Rover, and I have the box right here, so let's check out how it's packaged. So it comes in a very nicely padded leather box, it has some nice stitching on the outside, Genot on the front. That's the fancy way of pronouncing it, I'm sure. Kind of like Renault, Renault. Once you open up the box, you're greeted with a message here that says hand built in America. And that's part of the controversy. People on forums that are saying that this watch is not built in America or assembled out of Chinese parts or whatever it is, there's some debate there. It comes with a branded microfiber cloth, an extra strap that matches the indices of the watch. It comes with this certificate, which demonstrates that this watch was regulated over the course of six weeks to a standard deviation of plus 1.2 seconds per day, limited warranty card. So down here in the front, you can see that it comes with an adjustment tool and it sits on a very nice pillow. And the thing that struck me most about the packaging is that every single detail of this watch is wrapped in plastic. So looking around the back, every part of the clasp is wrapped in plastic, every part of the bezel. There is just such attention to detail that you don't see in even mid level watches these days. So I've had this watch for about three weeks now and I have to say this is probably one of the best purchases that I've made in the last two years. Even though it is expensive and it's controversial, this is my favorite watch that I've ever handled and there are so many things about it that uh, make it so special and so unique. So I'm going to give you a tour around the watch and talk a little bit more about it. So here is the watch up close and personal. And here it is after three weeks of use. The dial is amazingly clear. The red second hand is one of my favorite features of this watch. The bezel is nice and smooth. It clicks nicely, it's tactile. You kind of push down on it and then you turn, although you don't have to push down on it. Uh, it lines up perfectly if you look at the chapter rings. I like the yellow sand loom markers. Even this bracelet is well executed. I don't typically wear bracelets because they're not comfortable, but this one is very comfortable. It has micro adjustment on the back, so getting the correct fit is very easy. The glide lock system that is a copy of the Rolex lock is very easy to use, very secure and sits nicely around your wrist. Everything on this watch really just feels premium and that's the point that I really wanna get across is this watch feels like a luxury watch. When you look at the finishing, when you look at the edges, you look at the bracelet, the weight, the way it sits on your hand, the way it ticks, the way the crown unscrews, smooth, pops out, the way you wind it, obviously you have hacking here screwing the crown back in is just super easy. I mean, it is a very, very well executed watch. And let me show you the loom because that's one of the amazing features of this watch. Okay, so here is the charged up loom. And as you can tell, it is very bright, very easy to read. All of the indices are clearly marked. The minute hand, hour hand, seconds hands, everything, even the dot on the bezel. Things very easy to read. Now, the bright loom doesn't last super long. It lasts about 10 minutes. However, the dark loom is supposed to last about eight hours, which is quite amazing. So overall, would I recommend this watch to you? Absolutely, I would. Uh, it is controversial because I think people are upset about the price, really. Um, so it's currently listed at $12.99. Um, however, if you do a video review, such as the one I'm doing right now, uh, the company's offering discounts of up to 50%, 60%. So you can purchase this watch for less than the $12.99 price. But to be honest, even for $1,000, I honestly do think that the watch is worth it. Now, it's not worth it for those watch enthusiasts that are all about brand, 
that are all about heritage and history and in-house movements and all that fun stuff. Um, but for someone who just wants a watch that is beautiful, that works well, that keeps excellent time, that is well machined, well finished, that feels like a luxury watch, this is definitely an amazing option. If I had to make some complaints about it, there are three, um, and these are very minor and kind of dumb complaints. Um, the first one is the crown. There is one step and a second step, which is unnecessary because the second one is the only one that stops the second hand, and that's the one that you use to adjust the time on the watch. Um, the first step is intended for uh, changing the date, which isn't something that is on this particular model. So that's one complaint. The second thing is the case back is kind of plain. As you can see, it just says Genoa 4360 CV 63 out of 93. They could have done something nice back here um, or made it an open case back, but they didn't, which is fine. Not a big deal, but just something that they could look at in the future. And my last complaint is just about the band, not anything to do with comfort, but uh, it tends to eat itself up, so this edge scratches the band here. Just something that I've noticed over the last three weeks is that this band does get scratched up a little bit, just normal use, and you can probably tell there's some desk diving marks there. So those are my three complaints about this watch. Definitely not deal breakers. You're getting a clone of an ETA movement with some special parts in there and it is regulated to within chronometer specs, which is amazing. So I'd encourage you guys to check out the website if you're interested. They have three models on their website right now. At the time that I bought it, they only had the one. So you can check those out. There's one with uh, smaller indices and a cyclops with the date and there's one with no cyclops and the date um, that looks a little bit more like the Rolex Submariner. So that is my review of the Ocean Rover. Hope you guys enjoyed it and liked the video. If you guys have any questions about the watch, comment down below. I'd be more than happy to answer that for you and stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.